Fantastic. The game is on in the realm of blood and bone. Grab Ogre Johnson, teammate flying. Big guy flash, the never stopper. The Ogre Twins, it goes bone head. Crocs hit the fumble, top gun spell. Togo future, yes, make a play. Notorious. Just a bit of a blitz, came on just to fall. Focus on the 
the ceiling, feel the stop of you, back me to the line, it's all on my behavior, dancing like a to like we'll never fall, gonna score that touchdown, gonna win the fight, wait until you can stand up to your feet, feeling that ball, no one can catch us now, no, 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 we're the last to touch, it feels like defeat, going until turn eight, we'll take the crown. Well, okay, doke, we found a game. Chosen on against Chosen. Let's see who has the most card. <clears throat> That's usually a pretty good indicator who's going to have the easiest time. Welcome back, Blood Bowl. Do they have an ogre? They have. Probably a better, better game theme than us, looks like. A little we could say. 
So they're at 1700. Yeah, and we're 90 below them. So this is going to be a horrible game. Two, three. Oh, he has more of everything, yeah. So this will be a horrible game. We'll see what we can do. You never know. One might get lucky. The ogre might go stupid. My kill skills well wor might work, while his doesn't. Or her. So for 90k, we have one of these and two of these. And he gets to hit us first. Amazing. So either we feed him goats that will get just removed. Let's see. Yeah, all, he's got three. Okay. We'll have to just hope and pray. Just one less reroll, I guess. That might make a difference as well. Oh, we're gonna blitz. Didn't die, diced. And uh, you can't foul on a blitz. Players arrive to assist their teammate. So unfortunately, this is what we'll have to do. At least we got rid of. One of the claw guys getting went at least on the pitch or on the floor, but no one break. We hit with claw mighty blow, and overall was five. So only a push on our side stepper. That player is as slippery as a meal, but not quite as cuddly. Oh. 
Pause my goat with his like not mighty blow warrior. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Removes me anyway. So so much for that joy. Oh one reroll left. Get one more hit here with the claw guy. And that works. And this does not remove anything, it's just kind of strange, right? This guy did it, and this guy can't. So. Great start, as always. Doesn't matter. No skills, just kills my players. This should be fun. Oh, here's a foul. And this guy does nothing. I don't really know why he moved him there. But he's gonna foul here if he gets the ball, I assume. Oh, got the ball. Okay, oh, and he isn't sent off. So yeah, we're already two players down. This is gonna be miserable, as always. Three players tournament. So we don't even need to play this game anymore. That's a good choice. And we can't pow him for shit. So pointless game as always. Not over. Oh, too easy. That player better get up. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. That'll help the player move without risk. He's sprinting. Let's hope it's going to be okay. And we can't do anything, and we are, of course, caught. Oh, fuck's sake. Why do I even play this game? Like, isn't it always like this? I think this is my fifth game in a row. 
excluding my league game, where I've just had miserable dice compared to my opponent. He can foul, he can kill, he isn't caught. I can foul, do nothing, and get sent off. We can damage him, and he just removes my players. It's just like, why? Why? Like, we can't even roll a pow! about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. That's quite a few of the opposition surrounding that chair. They need to be getting caught. If I had a gold crown for every player I've seen lying on the floor, well, a single career, removal. Well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold, right? with that call, can you, Bob? No. Takes a skillful player to stay up under such a sustained assault. So on tonight's show, Big Jobo Hairyfoot comes back from the dead to talk about his remarkably short 
tenure as captain of the Greenfield Grass Hunters. Wings round the sandwich. Are they dancing or fighting? With fists swing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Of course, no fucking point. He can just remove my players. I can't do anything to his.
the floor again. This team must like worms or something. A big oh, look at this. <laughs> oh dear, one of the coaches ignored the referee's guild standard front. The ref is actually going to be fair. Got the advantage, but there is no sure thing in luck. A timidity really worse than war. This is such a pointless game. He just powers me every time, breaks my armor, removes my players, and I can't do anything. Like, I've tailed one go, this has removed my entire team. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. Yeah, it's insanely miserable. I have, it's like, this is my fifth day in this row now that I've just had. I have one game with like when I absolutely had better dice than my opponent, which was my Coca Cola game. Every other game has been like this or worse. It's just stupidly insane. Like he just look, he just removes my players constantly, and I don't think I'm biased because like it, it's like, yeah, it's insane. It's infuriating. Emotional damage. Um. Well, at least we have the next next the uh, Coca Cola game after this. So maybe we get by better dice in Coca Cola. I don't know, but this this, this team is just pointless to play now. Like I have a keg. I got one guy back. He doesn't have a keg. He's got a hundred percent. Only one, but he got him back, right? And we have a keg. And we had three chaos. Is just pointless. The only way this can happen is we have three removals now, and then three more at the start of the second half. Yeah, it's basically the description of an abusive relationship, right? Because no matter how much it hurts you, you keep coming back. 
And sometimes it's fun because it's insanely stupid, but it's kind of pointless. Since it started from like turn two, and he's removing my players, and I can't do anything back. Uh, yeah, and he fouls my guy, right? And casts him, and doesn't get caught. I foul back, do nothing, and is immediately sent off. <sighs> Such joy. Look, we have six players. Yay, we got stabbed perfectly for armor 10 guys. This just has to work, right? Amazing dice, right? Huzzah! Such great and fun and engaging play. What a surprise! Got any strategy for the coach here, Bob? Uh, hit stuff. <laughs> wow, a pow! I wouldn't have expected that. He had two two rerolls to start with. He has needed one. We had three, we've just we've needed more than three because we've dubbed Skull and one in nine. Um <laughs> yes, I might know we're just getting completely destroyed. And it just dies. There is no skill whatsoever in any way or form here. He just had straight up better power and, and cast dice. Nothing else. Better fouling dice. Like it's just not a contest. When I hit his goats, nothing happens, and when he hits my armor 10 pieces, they die. Oh, he got, he got, he got sent off. Oh no. Pointless. We can't hit him. <laughs> we can't break armor. We have mighty blow and claw, and it does nothing. Hey, Grumpy Dad! So as soon as I've gone through this misery, we can play. Because this is my cast book, and my opponent only managed to get his own guy sent off. It will be a very quick second half. <laughs> this is just so dumb. Why do you even rush for that? Just, you can hit from there, push me there, and still get an extra hit.
Well, yes, lol, absolutely. It's been an insane dicing. And he's going to keep fouling, get a third goat sent off. <laughs> <laughs> he's removed one, two, three, four, five, six. He's, he's removed ten players this, so far this half. That's pretty amazing. Um, like we're just gonna try and hit this guy right because he's lost the mana. Oh, not the dub skull at least. That has to be count for something. Oh no, we missed the pass. What do you... And this do you time the keg this... worked. No, no, one of them still didn't wake up. We had three three guys out and the keg, we got one back. He had one out, no keg got his back. And we still haven't gotten our KO back. Oh, he, yeah, he's playing Chosen, isn't he? Like, he's playing like, yeah, Horned Harassers, right? Or harassers. Uh, yes, this is looking exactly like the previous one. We just have one less Chaos Warrior. Like, what do we do? Yeah, he, he he like he kept his team like from the preseason, I think. Uh, yes, we we don't have anyone else to move game. Can't argue with that ball, can you, Bob? Oh, quick, yes. No. That's great. Nah, let's not blitz, shall we? It's kind of pointless, isn't it? Now, let's see which one of these guys gets passed. I'm betting probably this guy, right? He's the easiest target and he's on the end. No, 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 he's gonna go for my kill goat. Oh, not dead. Ooh. Better move up everyone else or I can get hit you back. Base, base, base. This is such a test of skill. <laughs> well, I don't have any Mighty Blow, right, do I? Oh, I have a go to random Mighty Blow, I think. I don't have a big guy, so it's only one Mighty Blow. So I don't think you need to be worried about that. I have quite a lot of random good skills on my goats. Like, everyone is random into something good or being fired. But I only have one block warrior, and I think you had like one or two block stars, right? But you're missing Azorus. So it's like you have only five and I have four string four pieces. But my goats are of course way more versatile because they have started to specialize in something. Who knows what though. So great, we have nothing anywhere. So we will surprise you by blitzing with a carrier. You would never expect it. There's only one word to say. Ah, sigh. What a surprise that we're not getting any pounds. 
Amazing one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you roll a one, he's amazing. He's he's random twice into first the foul appearance and then into frenzy, I think. Um. Elf goats. Here we go. I have two free hits and the blitz to remove three of my players. I mean, Frenzy is pretty good versus Skinks, right? I have no tackle, but Frenzy is pretty good because you get four dice or maybe six if you get strength five. Um, we'll see. Insta-pow on his end, of course. Why wouldn't he roll the pow? Because we sure didn't. And a dead, yeah. Amazing. Oh, still on the pitch. That's the worst because he's thinking he's fouling me. <laughs> and his ogre, I think it's failed ogre once. It's about time to fail him again. It's we're still on turn 12, right? I don't think it will matter one bit. He's gonna cage my player. No, he's not okay. Oh, not dead. And he's still standing. He's close. Will it make a difference? Ah, it would have been fun if we ever could roll a power when we actually hit with the killer ghost. Now that's a real mess. Now you can stay there because we're just gonna run. Potato! Such grace. That's unfortunately not enough. One, two, three, four. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? No. Can't argue with that call, can you? Bob? Ooh, not dead. No. Nope, not dead. That was the blitz. I could have blitzed with him. I mean, I'm at a reroll, so like I'm going to fail the dodge eventually, right? Going for it. All the rushes to Kate Min, okay. Still just this one day here if we need it. Surrounded by the opposing team. This isn't going to be a pretty. What's that they are doing? They look to be rolling on the ground in agony, Joe. Um, here comes the other team. So it's one day or two days. So I guess we do this. 
Huzzah. Now, where do we start? One, two, three, five, six. Doesn't matter, we follow. Because otherwise we get served. Now we just have to make this dodge. That'll be easy. <laughs> Elven goes. Yeah, that's me. This is just so dumb. Run away. <laughs> we can dodge everywhere. My dodge, my elves don't dodge this good. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We have to go one. Oh, you had the random SP paste too. I think I have on one go that I haven't random. I have to look at before the start. Or something was wrong with them. Or I haven't rolled for my expensive mistakes at least. That was something. So anything else? Like he can just say there's no point dodging him. So he can do, he can rush twice and hit me. And like we can go that's pointless. And we can't really reach. And he so he needs it doesn't matter if we cover one more here, but it just goes the other way. I don't know how I've gotten this close to actually scoring because he was up like I was I had sev seven players when we started and he had ten I think. Oh that's the blitz. Well he gets me. But now he can't hit my oh no, I dare to go. Oh no. So now you can't split the carrier. Interesting choice. Hasn't he seen that my 3 plus dodges always work? <laughs> I mean, it's about time I fail a dodge, so I guess we're not gonna score. Maybe the one day blit is better. Because most things work there, like there's lots of pushes. It's just the five which is the both down right if we count it like that or it's a four maybe four and a one which is the skull everything else gets us free which is basically a three plus right so it's basically the same but we have the added benefit that we actually might hurt him watch this oh the ogre decides to not play Yeah, it's a 3 plus either way, right? We do have blue, so that makes it a 3 plus. Here comes the uh, two headed goat, fails the rush. Wait. No, it doesn't waste the reroll, I think. Yeah, no, okay. So, yeah, that means I think that's the play here. But otherwise, we have to dodge here, and then we might as well throw this. So, yeah, we, we blitz. Let's see what happens. It will be a skull, what a surprise. Oh my god. Oh my god. And insta power and warrior. That's the power we needed. Look, any of those dice would have let us score, right? And this time to go. Oh, he's gonna go after my. He rushes with him to catch him. Like that matters. That kind of a risk you know want to take, right? Before you secure the ball. Did you know, back in 24, okay. Did you grease the ball before the start of the match, Bob? Uh, okay, so we it's, it's oh, the exact I same thing this. again. And again, we roll a skull. That's a 1 in 6 and a 1 in 6. So it's a 1 in 36. Consecutive skull. Amazing! That's a fun and engaging game. <clears throat> like, why doesn't he move stuff first here and then, if he wants to rush with the roger, rush with the roger? So, two head goats has the ball, so now it's over. We're not going to get four now. 
and let's see if it kills him or not, then we're just gonna stay on the floor for the rest of the game and click enter and enter and enter. And he's gonna keep fouling maybe for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and he does it with a warrior, like you're, you're so many players up, it's pointless. Like take this hit then, that you can gain SPPs here. Okay, we just have to do this now. Oh, he made the dodge. Let's see if he gets away from tentacles. Nope. Ah, uh, okay. So let's uphill the ogre. Huzzah! Perfect. Stand off or push. Doesn't matter. Stand you up and stand... Okay, now we, he's actually... We might actually do this here now. Not a skull. Like he's easily gonna get rid of me, but uh, we'll do it. Nah, let's stay on the pit with him. Oh my god, what a game! How's my god? And chaos. I mean, the only thing we can say that's been good in this game is that no one has actually... Except he's dead, but he's the unimportant, right? He's a baby goat. None of our, my other players have actually suffered any injuries, despite being outcast in the same way. Take, like move one of these over to get two dice. Are you hitting here now? No, you've been. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ah, another push. Those are so. Uh... Uh, where do we go? Doesn't really matter, does it? No, it does not. Huzzah! Are you still here, Grumpy Dad? Because I'm about to finish this game. So we can start playing you in a few minutes. I'm just going to make sure the team is has rolled its expensive mistakes and pick. I think I have one goat that might random stuff. I don't think it will. Oh, we didn't click end turn. No, we didn't. My bad. Well, he hasn't used any rerolls, so like he hasn't had bad dice at all, so he can afford to roll up skulls. One day. Why would you take one day when you have people you can move up? 
But then again, if you have good dice, it doesn't matter if you play badly, right? Was obviously the correct choice. So now you have no more hit. So you're going to foul again. Ooh. Yes, turn 16 foul for no reason whatsoever. With that, the misery is over, and we actually didn't lose any players. So I guess, well, one guy who died, and we got a horrible MVP as always. Um, so we have to hire a new goat. That's the only thing that happened. Interesting. Um, I have to all mistakes. And then let's have a look at... So let's see, we have one bench. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. So, no, okay. And then we go to here and we check out impossible to join. Oh, we didn't roll the expensive mistakes. Good. Then we have good goal. Oh, we'll have to do this as well. Ah, great. Yep. Good luck. Have fun. Let's do the best we can. Uh, let's have a look. So this is us and that's the Grumpy Dad's team. So so he has one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's going to have a loner skink. One sword is missing. He's got block, block, thick skull, multi-block, uh, shadowing, sneaky git. That's bad for me. That's okay, you can hand off to him. That's uh, really good for the one turn. And that's good, so you have a carrier. So he is at... And he's going to get a free skink, which is 60... 60, right? So 1300, maybe. Okay, here we go. We're close to the same team value, I think, after his getting his um, loner journeyman. Mm. And we have it in blue and red. Let's see what the colors look like. A very steely team. Um, so we have perfect conditions. Oh, we got 75k. Uh, not this thing, this thing, this thing. So he is pretty dark. I think we can do this with the normal colors. Wait, how did he, how do we, that one, it wasn't that much of a difference, was it? Did he buy something? Did you buy something? No, I don't think so. Maybe I just miscalculated the worth of the players. So we're gonna get a keg and one of these. The keg is good because he's got potential to remove my goats, right? He's got one guard, that's on the crook. We have no guard on this team. 
So I guess we take receive the ball, right? There's nothing and the crooks can't support everyone, so yeah. We'll receive Okay, we need to move a bit. So you move. No, oh, it's four out of four, never mind. Okay, so we can do this. We have to do this because that's the sneaky gits guy. Nope. Didn't work. uphill now yeah no it's Monday as well okay let's do this then push back not over come on guys oh, oh. nope it is not oh yeah okay there's gonna be we're gonna keep getting slightly bad dice here amazing start We hit this skiing quick tackle, nothing happens, we fail the two die with wrestle, and of course we get KO'd. Yeah, no, the dice are just against us. As always, here in the opening, gonna be a miserable game. We needed at least to like, like punch these letters down, right? So they just can't base me back up. Like insta pounds, of course. Come on, go! Of course. Did you know the Spike Magazine trophy was forged in hellfire? Deep beneath the blighted cigarette, the Tsar not groomed, many slaves died to create it. But then, it was the lowest bid. <laughs>
Yeah, and we've already lost this drive. Amazing. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure thing. That's it. For some back and then pow. Oh, why would we find a power there? Four dice, pointless. Finally, a uh, pow on six dice, one one KO at least. And no pounds. Yeah, no, it's just pointless. We're down to one reroll, there's nothing we can do. And we can't dodge off. Nope. Why would that work? Insta powers, my guys, though. Easily happened. And he's gone. Huzzah! Oh, another KO. Great. Instantly. And I was again. Right for no reason. I can have armor 10 on these guys, and they just. Yeah. Well, it's just not my day today either. And of course, that's the guy's hip look. So, perfect roll. Now 
Well, we also can get some stupid lucky removals. But we can't break skin armor. Actually, the same number of players now, but we're not really, you know, stabilized around the ball in any shape. So I don't see this working at all. The only good thing about this is we do have a keg, so if we don't lose any more players, but I think we will, because he can keep fouling main hitting me with the lizard right. And so far, armor 10 has proven to be pointless. sidestep right yeah so we can't hit him with frenzy because he will just make sure we end up in a bad spot if we don't pow him we need all of these guys to protect the ball some way I don't really know how To do something here at least. And we can break skin armor. So now we need to think. We can hit him and we can frenzy him. So I guess we do that. And that's what we needed. Push you there. push here. We'll have to take it. There's nothing we can do. Like if this would have been a pow, we could have pushed him instead and run around here. We still would have been hit, but now we're just going to get instantly powed. Starts by powing there instead. Okay, fine. And of course, double powers. Not even close to surviving. And the ball goes to my guys. <laughs> okay, well, not really. He can still get it with his team, right? 3 plus, 4 plus. Would imagine if my guys over here caught it, though. That would have been hilarious. Unfair. 
that's hilarious. So the only good thing that has happened so far is that we're only down, like we have the same number of players on the pitch. It could have been much worse with that opening. And Insta Pounce this guy as well. Put him on the croc. Unfortunately, the Crooks is now on the ball. Like, that's why it would have been better if it would have been up there. And so what can we do? And this guy still to move, and this guy still to move. So there's not much we can do to get the ball back, I think. We needed it caught, right? Because then we might have gotten just a push on the Crooks, and then this guy can run off. But now we need to pick it up somehow. Which I don't really know how. We can't break pink armor. That's the joy. I guess we just have to um, hope we get lucky, right? Of course not. And we can't break skink armor. No, it wouldn't work. Of course not. Why would that work? Yeah, he hasn't needed a reroll yet, has he? Where does the prize? That was my guy again. Well, not a power there at least, but he gets me pushed away. This guy is now free. And only a push, at least. That's something. And he makes a dodge. Oh, doesn't get the pickup. He uses. Oh, for sake. He gets it to the freaking. Oh. And we can't get there, can we? No, two rushes. Oh my god. Either way we do this, we're screwed. Two sixes. Not far from the end zone. We have to gamble right a bit here. Help a 
Okay, we have a chance to pick it up, so maybe we won't get scored on at least. So what do we do here? Everything we can one D. So you stand up first. And we can't pick up the ball. Nope. This game just not supposed to work, as always. I've seen some bad blood ball matches in my time. And this is one of them. This player likes to be well assisted. Oh darn. Pushes only at least. No risk of losing the player. And power to the croc. Oh, come on, game. He makes the pick up and then he fails the dodge instead. And the ball goes. Who knows? Well, we can't really do much about that, can we? Can this game reach? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay, so with the rushes we have a potential reach. I guess that's something. Do we push him? It's, it's like we might as well dodge, right? It's the same dice. So we might as well hit him instead. If I had a gold club for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold. So now we need to count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we need to rush us no matter what. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And this guy can still hit us and we can't do anything about it. Um, except dodge. And then not get to him anyway. So we have to dodge here. We make it. This is just a stupid game, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Ah, boo game. Yeah, okay. We're now officially cooked if we don't get our chaos back. But we got the scoring chance, which is insane with the way this half has been. Why did we dodge that guy off? We, because we were afraid of the mighty blow. Instead, we fell and killed ourselves. That's amazing. That player better get up. 
Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. Here's the blitz, and he doesn't have block, so we're not dead. At the same time. There's only one word to say about this. Only a push. Lucky goat. Uh, so I don't see us. I mean, we could 3D him, right? I think that's worth it. That's a holding ever I saw one. That's a natty. Oh, he gets to pick. I'm willing to bet a good punch will have him face down in the mud. Okay, maybe he's going to be out, because he's a sidestepper, that can one turn easily. And then here goes nothing. Wow, we did not deserve to be 1-0 up here. That was just pure game stupidity. Because football is a stupid game. But we got... And he gets all, like, I have the keg here, game. Like, this is that stupid. He gets all his players back. So now he's going to one turn on me. So it was all for nothing. Okay. I mean, we didn't deserve to score, but... We'll just have to make him roll the dice, right? It doesn't matter where we put it. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's got three plus on all of them. So it's all about the tackle and he won't run where tackle is, right? So it adds it adds absolutely nothing either way. So let's just stand like that. He's he. I'd rather have him than him. So. Yeah, he got everyone back. He's going to just one turn me. It's, it's pointless. He had three KOs, right? And they all came back. We had two and one came back? Or was it he had two? No, he had three. And we had the keg. Right. Yeah, it's just stupid. Right? So, we had one who came back and one who failed. And he had three that succeeded. Yeah, and we had the keg. Oh, yeah. The game is the way it is, right? But then again, we shouldn't even have scored, so... He's not going to. He's just going to go for damage. Okay. I mean, why not? He's already two players up. We get a blitz that we can't use, unfortunately. Oh dear. I hope that player. Not dead. And now he can use the reels freely. Gets him. Not dead. This is the other Saurus, so no mighty blow here either. Okay, lucky. How are they going to catch or run with a ball that they're constantly rising around? Oh, the, the crocs ground. went dumb. What's that they are doing? They're setting up a foul, maybe? Yeah. 
because he has the, uh, the Fowler behind the crook. Oh, he makes a rush there. That was. I don't think you need that much. You already had plus four. Pause that goat. There we go. Like, imagine if he had, like, average KO rolls instead. My poor goat is KO'd, so we're not going to get them back. Because we can draw statistically. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we are we are, we are 11 all. Um, which is way more than we could even dream of here, right? So then again, I think we'll just... Did we? Uh, we didn't do any one of these. Can we move up a... I'm gonna give him warriors because armor 10 and all that. There's just a slim chance they survive, right? Okay, so if our guys don't get removed, we might have a shot. But like stopping stinks is always tricky with chaos because they're just so stupidly fast. So like if he had one of his chaos not come back because he didn't have the keg, so statistically one of his guys could still be out, right? It would have been so much better here. Now, I am hoping this is going to be a 1 1 draw. And no one gets the reroll? Okay. And it's still perfect conditions. Starts by powering my warrior. Okay, no armor break. And doesn't get the other guy. Uh, unfortunately, he gets him with the crook. No armor hold. And just a push. That's really nice. And I need the blitz as well somewhere here. So, so far, we probably have made the right choice with putting the warriors there. Because goats would have been broken. Because that was Crook's hit. Yes, he gets the ball on the sneaky gift. I guess he wants to score on him so he can get points. Get sneaky gift dirty player. Here's the blitz on our wrestler, and it works. Wrestler is fake, as always. It should have been the other symbol. Again, we get lucky with no armor break. There's no one behind the crooks? No. Okay. None of this really matters. So let's put you there. And let's blitz you. Three dice and mighty blow. Hopefully we get a lucky removal. No. Unfortunately not. We don't really care about this. He'll just have to run through me if he wants to here. Maybe we should have stood him up. The other ones are just going to get hit again. Well, at least we broke armor, right? <laughs> only a push on the blitz. Okay. That's nice. So we only get the hit on this guy. Okay. 
And there's only a push. That's really nice. This game, maybe? Okay, we can hit these guys, but we don't have tackle, and not with Mighty Blow, can't, he has to rush. That's bad for us, and so now he's not looking as attractive. Oh, he's handing off to someone else. The uh, sure hunt guy. I mean, do I have triple? Yeah, I do. I do have triple. Does that make sense, I guess? So there's no way to get to the ball. Okay, well, that gives us a blitz on the corner lizard, but that also means giving up the mighty blow hit. I guess we do that, because he's got block, right? We have to try. We could wrestle there. What a surprise, only push it. Yeah, we can't do shit to his blob of lizard. We just have to hope he gets pushes and not break our armor. So that once he actually moves forward, we get a chance to hit him back a bit. I think I can't believe we scored on the first drive. That was just so stupid. Missing the frenzy pace, yeah. Okay, he's hitting Russell. And of course, Russell is a fixed kill. We get kind of stumbles instead of both down. Both down there would have been great. And now he gets pow pow. I mean, like, he would have gotten that anyway if he start with the clock. Hello Morgan, well it goes, uh, I don't really know yet, we're up 1-0, but like he should be able to bash his way through here. This is an Orca College game, so it begins the very grumpy dad. And we played one game before this that went horrible, where we just completely outsized by another case team uh, in, the, in the ladder. And then the dice kind of kept going, but then at the end of the first drive the ball scattered out and it just got thrown the perfect spot for us. But we was just stupid lucky, we couldn't be up 1-0 here. Okay, he doesn't want to risk hitting block with a croc. And we don't really get any good hits back, at, except this guy maybe? Oh, he bases up here, yeah, mm, okay. Now it's going to be tricky, because we're not the best at dodging away. Or we blitz him and get two dice there. I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's better. So let's put you there. You go there. You go there. Smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Nope. Yes, okay, that's nice. We didn't need a second hit there. Just got the pow instantly. No armor break though. Almost 
Oh crap! Three plus with a reroll. That should work. Statistically, more times than it doesn't. Okay. Well, we wasted the reroll then, and now he can break through. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is... Splat! Too many armor breaks. That was we were what was we we was we were afraid of. Don't do it again. I hate bad puns. Can you do against a full speed hold? Then we can't break skink armor. Huh, and now we can dodge you off the, the tail instead. We should, he should have been one, st one step further down, yes, so he wasn't stuck by tail. Ah, stupid. Oh well. Rookie mistake, I guess. I just didn't pay enough attention on that for that. Oh, he's running all the way around to hit this guy. Oh, double pass. Yeah, he's like breaking armor on two guys to give him the opening. And there's an arm break and a removal. Okay, yeah, he's through on this side now, and there's probably nothing we can do here. Oh, rush. Don't think you really needed that, but sure. We know down a player. Yeah, we should have had him one step further down. Um, yeah, maybe one of these shouldn't have gone as far, but I don't think that matters much because we can still close the gap, but it's going to be tricky. Because we're now going to be based here completely and on the tail and on guard, right? So we can't do anything, which is really sad. Yeah, and you just base my guys so they can't come and help. Yeah, really annoying.
There's only one word to say. And we only get pushes. We can break King Armor. Oh, sorry. That's pointless. So everything here is tied up. So what can we do? Nothing really, right? I guess we just punch. Okay, that's an armor break for a stun. Oh, I removed the sidestepper. Okay. Now we need to dodge. Or we need to throw up hills. That's uphill without block. It's also uphill. Everything is uphill, right? I guess we try and dodge. Okay, and that guy made it. And then we try the uphill here. That did not work, but we're not re-rolling it, so it's pointless. Can't do anything to stop him now. And he powers me instantly. Unfortunate. We're picking the croc spray instead of giving hits with it, okay. I'm not gonna complain, that's a can feel very stupid when he moves. Well, you only have two, we're gonna have, now you're only gonna have two free swords, so you'll blitz one of these guys, right? Yeah, the strip baller and get him pinned or squashed or whatever you want to call it. And this guy just stands in the way, yeah. And now you're in scoring range. And we can really go to get to you, can we? And the crocs works unfortunately. I mean And of course, keeps tagging and pause. And of course, that's the guy we block. Unfortunately, well, we could one day here and just pray. Um, we can dodge with him. I think that's the play, right? So, stand up. Stand up. Hit. And we can't get the bloody skink with blow. So we'll have to hit him again. There we go. No. Dead. So the question we can might as well hit these guys as well, right? Oh, too easy. Um He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Nice. Yes. Ha, huh, we make the door if we fail the rush. Okay. Last free roll. Stupid game. We can't get pounds. He gets pounds all the time, doesn't he? Or is it just my bias? Yes, you can follow if you want. <laughs> nah. Nah. 
I should have pushed him there, shouldn't I? And we can dodge now. Nope, yeah, we had to waste the reroll there, unfortunately, and I don't think we can do much now. And I don't think he's... I mean, he can probably... Uh, two turning with chaos is super tricky. The ghost can do it, but we need a perfect kick, and, like, we have no rerolls, so... This is a 1-1 one -one draw, and, in, like, the point was just to get the tackle on him, right? Forcing him to roll some dice before he scores. But we've just not gotten the dice when we needed them. Like, he hasn't needed a single reroll in the second half. That says everything. Like, we just had to use rerolls to even stay in the game, so to speak. Well, he hasn't had a single bad dice roll. And then I didn't even use my reroll on the both downs when my Mighty Blow Goat hit the um, pink, right? So, yeah. He's had, like, I, I think he's had better pow dice, for sure, but then I had the insane lack of scoring in the first half, so I'm not going to say 1-1 one, one draw is unfair. And again, he gets the 1-9 in nines on the guy with block. Arr. And pushes to the crook, like that, where you want the 1-9, in nine, right? So that would have been a turnover here. We could have freed up Restall to hit this guy with, right? Now that would have been fine. Yeah, he's still scoring. Yeah, he's scoring, because I don't think I can see turn here. So I think that's the correct choice. Did we get our KO back? Yes, we did. But I don't think it matters much. Nothing really matters here, so you have to be there. No, not there. There. Let's see what happens. It's probably going to be Blitz, right? So he can just swarm. Okay. Okay, so we can get the ball and we can run up the field. That's at least something. It's not going to work, but we can try. Do we move up him? Oh my god, why do we have such bad dice?
One. Ha ha ha. And we failed the rush. Okay, yeah. So nope. we'd have failed the hand over if we gave it to this guy anyway. So, yeah, no, it's going to be 1 1 draw. And we maybe lose some guys on the line of finish because we couldn't finish it. Like, make this hand off, move down here, get the hit here, and get one guy here. And then he needs to run through, which would have been tricky for him. But now he doesn't need to care. Now he can just back away because this guy can't score. Seven. He's one away, right? Yep. Yeah. And I don't think there's a chain push anywhere. Prox wants to play for some reason. And he's going to hit here. And then move back so he can get hit here. He hasn't rolled a single bad dice on this on his, on his um, block side. He still has three rerolls left. It's kind of insane compared to mine. Again, 1-1 one, one is still like probably lucky for me due to how the first half was. And another pow. He seems a little stunned, doesn't he? Yeah, we can't score now anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. The other players stood there like statues with such easy play. I'm sweet down myself. It's quiet. Wow, running all the way around. Oh, he wants to hit here. Okay, nope. Just a push. Reroll. Yeah, now you can use the rerolls. There you get me. Four. There. Matter. Is there a chain push anywhere? I don't think so. We can't get in to hit them. No. There is no chain push. We have no punches anywhere except here and there. So let's start with this. Can we make that more dice? If this works, we can. Okay, let's try this. Well, no. My paradise have just been insane. Okay, 1-1 one, one draw. I think I got still lucky, but we also got pretty diced on the powers or their block dice in general. We got a good MVP. Let's see if Mr. or a very grumpy dad shows up back here. Well, I'll tap right to him in Discord. <laughs> Hi, grumpy dad. Yeah. Well, uh, I did not deserve the uh, touchdown in the first half. That's for sure. But then again, like you didn't need your rerolls. Like your block dice were just like pow 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 pow. Luckily, you didn't kill any of my goats. So yeah, I'm still pretty happy with the one one here, I guess, because the first half was just pure misery on my end. And then somehow the ball exact ended up exactly where I could get it. That was just stupid. Perfect example of a blood ball, right? Um, <laughs> you were trying to, yeah, of course. Uh, I'll do a validation thread, and then you can um, validate it. Let's see, validations. Uh, let's see, let's see, like this, right? Uh, new topic. And I'll just tag you in it as well, uh, and then I'll be back reading my own chat here. There we go. I've posted the validation thread. Uh, yeah, that you didn't like the tackle guy because he tried to hit your skinks. Yeah, it, it was all over the place. I think like you had three rerolls left on turn 16. 
Lizards normally don't have that, right? Especially when you only have one block lizard. Did you have one or did you have two? It was more than two anyway. So, still pretty good, like no one of us got hurt. So, got some SP pace. Okay, done. And it's now 9 o'clock, so I don't have time for another game. You have two, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, even that you have four lizards without block. So, yeah. So, like, you're like, it's like Baby K as well. Like, you just need the rerolls. Like, my dice were just like. I didn't even reroll when I uh, both downed the um, the loner with my mighty blow goat, like because I just have to conserve rerolls, I think. And you have three rerolls left at the end of the game. Well, well, you didn't try to one turn. You do have a sidestep, right? Still needs three pushes. I was afraid that you'd go for the one turn because it might. Like, I think you were out of rerolls then. At the end of the first half, right? So it probably wouldn't have been that easy because the ball, like, you can't throw the ball because you don't have a. Oh, you okay? Well, you just, like, when you don't have the chameleon, it's still tricky, right? The chameleon skink adds that on the ball path ability to get the ball to the sidestepper. So you just need to like look it up on the net, see how you do it. Like it thinks, like once you get the, cause especially once you get the, if you want one, a chameleon, you should absolutely like learn how to do it because then they can do that. It's not as easy without it because getting the ball from the backfield is much easier with an on the ball thrower. Well, thanks for the game. It was entertaining. It was all over the place. Uh, like. Equal misery and happiness for both, I guess, because like you were really pressing me and almost counter scoring, right? And then just for some stupid reason, I get the ball scatter exactly where my cares were can get it. Yeah, I guess you just Google uh, like uh, Lizardman one turns in, on YouTube, should be fine, right? Yeah, I have to go now. It's too late here for me for another game. So thanks a lot for the game again. And I'll see you in everyone else's chats as well. Um, and let's see if um, if we have anyone to raid us on to who is playing. We have Bibi now. We have lots of players on. Let's raid. Let's raid Dimi. There's not many of us, so he'll be happy for the few he gets of us. So, and everyone else, if you watch this on YouTube later, please leave a like and subscribe and uh, come watch me live on Twitch.